Use the price demand equation below to determine whether demand is elastic, inelastic, or has unit elasticity at the indicated values of P. X is equal to F of P, which is equal to 640 minus 2P minus 0.1P squared. Then you got number A, P is equal to 15, number B, P equals 40, and number C, P equals 60. Step 1 is to find E of P, the elasticity of demand. Step 1A is to recall that if price and demand are related by X equals F of P, then the elasticity of demand is given by E of P equals negative P times derivative F of P divided by F of P. Yep, that is still a lot of P's. Step 1B is to calculate derivative F of P. For that, you got to know the derivative power rule and the derivative constant rule while you add it. And you'll get derivative F of P is equal to negative 2 minus 0.2P. Step 2 is to substitute F of P and derivative F of P into the elasticity of demand equation and simplify. That'll give us E of P equals negative P times negative 2 minus 0.2P divided by 640 minus 2P minus 0.1P squared. And then you just FOIL the top, and then you simplify it to E of P equals 2P plus 0.2P squared divided by 640 minus 2P minus 0.1P squared. I don't know why I read the whole thing out. All right, and that brings us to the last part, step three. Step three is to plug in the values of P to determine the status of the elasticity of demand. By the way, price elasticity of demand refers to how much the quantity demanded of a good or service changes in response to a change in its price. It measures how responsive quantity demanded is to price change. If V of P is between 0 and 1, then it's inelastic. If V of P is equal to 1, it's unit elastic. If V of P is greater than 1, then it's elastic. Part A, find E of 15 to determine the elasticity of demand when P is equal to 15. All right, plug P equals 15 into E of P, and that'll give you E of 15 is equal to 75 divided by 587.5 which is approximately equal to 0 0.13. E of 15 is in between 0 and 1, so demand at P equals 15 is inelastic. Then you do the same process for parts B and C. You'll find that in part B, um, demand at P equals 40 is unit elastic because, it is, because E of 40 is approximately equal to 1. And for part C, it's approximately equal to 5.25. If it's greater than, than 1, then it's elastic. So there you go.